Introduction to Disaster Resilient Infrastructure Designing disaster resilient infrastructure is crucial for mitigating the impact of natural and man-made disasters on communities. Such infrastructure is built to withstand and recover quickly from events like earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, and other emergencies. By incorporating resilience principles into infrastructure design, cities and regions can enhance their ability to protect lives, property, and economic assets during and after a disaster. Understanding Risk and Vulnerability The first step in designing disaster-resilient infrastructure is to understand the specific risks and vulnerabilities of the area. This involves conducting a thorough risk assessment to identify potential hazards and evaluate the existing infrastructure's ability to withstand these threats. Factors such as the region's geology, climate, and historical data on past disasters are analyzed to determine the most significant risks and inform the design process. Implementing Robust Structural Design Robust structural design is essential for ensuring that infrastructure can withstand the forces of a disaster. This includes using high-quality, durable materials and engineering techniques that enhance the strength and stability of buildings, bridges, and other structures. For instance, seismic-resistant design principles can be applied to reduce the impact of earthquakes, while flood-resistant features such as elevated foundations can help prevent water damage. Integrating Redundant Systems Integrating redundant systems into infrastructure design helps to ensure functionality even when primary systems fail. Redundancy involves creating backup systems for critical functions such as power, water supply, and communication. For example, incorporating backup generators for power outages and designing alternative water sources can maintain essential services during emergencies, reducing the impact of disruptions. Prioritizing flexible and adaptive design. Flexible and adaptive design principles allow infrastructure to adjust to changing conditions and future challenges. This includes designing structures that can be easily modified or upgraded as new technologies or materials become available. For instance, using modular construction techniques enables rapid rebuilding and adaptation to evolving needs and risks, enhancing overall resilience. Incorporating Nature-Based Solutions Nature-based solutions, such as wetlands, green roofs, and urban forests, play a vital role in disaster resilience by providing natural buffers against hazards. These solutions can reduce the impact of floods, heat waves, and other environmental stresses while enhancing urban biodiversity and improving quality of life. Integrating these elements into infrastructure design helps to create a more resilient and sustainable urban environment. Ensuring effective drainage and flood management. Effective drainage and flood management are critical for mitigating the impact of flooding, which is a common disaster risk. Designing infrastructure with proper drainage systems, such as stormwater management facilities and permeable surfaces, helps to manage and redirect excess water. Implementing flood-resistant measures, such as levees and flood walls, also helps to protect infrastructure and communities from flood damage. Incorporating Early Warning and Monitoring Systems Early warning and monitoring systems are essential for disaster preparedness and response. Integrating these systems into infrastructure design allows for real-time monitoring of potential threats, such as seismic activity, weather conditions, and water levels. Early warning systems provide timely alerts to communities, enabling them to take necessary precautions and minimize damage during disasters. Planning for post-disaster recovery Designing disaster-resilient infrastructure also involves planning for post-disaster recovery. This includes developing strategies for quickly restoring damaged infrastructure and services, such as temporary repairs and rapid rebuilding initiatives. Ensuring that infrastructure is designed with recovery in mind helps to facilitate a quicker return to normalcy and reduces the long-term impact of disasters on communities. Engaging with stakeholders and communities. Engaging with stakeholders and communities is crucial for designing disaster-resilient infrastructure that meets local needs and priorities. Involving community members, local authorities, and emergency services in the planning process ensures that designs address specific risks and vulnerabilities while reflecting the values and concerns of those affected. Collaborative approaches lead to more effective and widely accepted solutions. Conclusion Designing disaster-resilient infrastructure involves a multifaceted approach that includes understanding risks, implementing robust design principles, 
and incorporating flexible, nature-based solutions. By integrating redundant systems, effective flood management, and early warning technologies, infrastructure can better withstand and recover from disasters. Engaging with stakeholders and planning for post-disaster recovery further enhances resilience, ensuring that communities are well prepared to handle emergencies and minimize their impact. As climate change and urbanization continue to evolve, disaster resilience remains a critical aspect of infrastructure planning and development.